So here we are in front of our start project. When you open it, there's really nothing much here. It is just a normal single view application. But what we want to do is go into the assets.ac assets and you will see a lot of images and profile images I already prepared for you. The one to 10, those are our images, our photo, the photo that you want to display in the complete project. The P1 to P10 images, those are our profile image. They are all square image so that we later on will show why it is, has to be square. The T1 to T10 images are the thumbnail images of our photos, of the photos that we want to display in our photomania. Okay? So that is our resources for this video. It's for this four part training series for you about Tailview. Now, goes back, let's go back into our main storyboard. Right now, when you look at this, it is just a single view controller. We don't want to use this, so let's delete that. The process that we are doing here is, it is the process that you will use in almost every every app that you are going to use Tailview. So just follow along with me, okay? I know that there will be a lot of new terms coming up right now. I already tell you that, right? I will try to simplify a lot of things for you by not describing all the details so that it will not overwhelm you, but we'll still have to cover the fundamentals, the basics, on the full picture of the tail view so that later on as we build up our knowledge you can learn how to use that and you can build those complicated those advanced app also okay so in our main storyboard i will drag out if you look at the object palette so you may notice that we already have a table view controller it is the thing that we want to use so i will drag our table view controller like this okay now notice in the document outline that one thing I want to point out is this tail view, okay, the tail view controller is simply is a view controller, right? The view of this view controller is, is special because it has the view to be a table view. Inside the tail view, we have table view cell. Each of the cell, later on, will use these cells. It's called a prototype cell. Okay, if you look at this, this is the table itself. But we don't have a bunch of tables, which is, I'm sorry, we don't have a bunch of cells already. We just use one single cell because each of these cells has the same design, right? It has the same element inside each of the cells. Like we have the photo, we have the profile image, and we have the um, thumbnail or the caption. So that's all. Now I want to embed this tail view controller onto a navigation controller by using editor, um, embed in, and navigation controller. Because most of the time later on we will learn that we don't just want to display a list of things. We want to display those lists of things and whenever we click onto one list, one of the item, or one of the cell, or later on we call it a row, then we want to display the details about that, right? So then we have the navigation controller. Then I want to embed, I want to make this navigation controller to be the initial view controller like this. Okay, click onto the attribute inspector and make it sure that the initial view controller. Then we are good to go. Now, next thing is let's name the title of this navigation item to be photo mania. Like that. Cool. Okay, next, we will want to have a custom class for our table view controller. And you guess what? What is the custom, what is this, what are, what is this subclass saying? What is will subclass UI table view controller? So let's go over file, new file like this, and use iOS source, Cocoa Touch class, and it has to be the subclass of UI table view controller. And we have the class, let's name this Photos Table View Controller. It is a naming convention that we are trying to display a list of photos. So let's have photos, plural. So next, then make sure that we group in the UI Table View demo and we create that. And here is our classes. Okay. 
so let me make sure that this is big enough for you to see okay so this is our class before we doing inside the code let's go back into the main storyboard because when we create a subclass let's make sure that this tail view controller has a custom class so select that view controller have the custom class to be photos table view controller okay 